Good morning, neighborhood community. I'm still sick, and it's getting worse, and I hate it. So you have Kevin today. <laughs> well, good. <laughs> good morning. So Val's cold uh, is one of those, I've had one of these before, and you probably have too, where you feel like you're just getting over it, and then it comes back, or it comes different, or changes, and gets worse, and so that's where she is right now. So I feel like it started all over again. I remember colds like that, where you just kind of going, all right, tomorrow I'm going to get moving, and then it's like, where did this come from? Is this a different cold? So... I know um, both uh, Kirsty and Bambi are going through this as well. It just doesn't want to let go. Uh -huh. I'm so happy I didn't get it. Yeah. Well, I'm no longer on antibiotics, so. Well, I don't know even why they gave you the antibiotics. So it's it's so, you know, typical of doctors that they'll give you antibiotics even if it's a virus, and you know, what, antibiotics don't do anything with viruses. I know, but. Um, but I can't breathe, <coughs> and I can't stop coughing, and that's the thing. So I don't think I'm going to do much coloring today. I think I'm going to try and sleep most of the day and see if that helps me feel better. And I will continue with my peel and stick tiling. I've got uh, a little advice from Tight One how to uh, cut the tiles. I have to do it with my left hand. My big concern is I'll never get a straight line. We'll see what happens. He can do it. He can do anything. <laughs> Your dog is upstairs. Try Angel to... gets upstairs and she doesn't know how to come back down the stairs. So we have to go upstairs and get her. So, yeah. We'll see you guys a little, well, Kevin will see you guys a little later. He may point the camera at me while I'm snoring I'll away on the couch. I'll throw things at her. That would not be very nice. You won't even know. Until he hits me in the head. Yeah. All right. So, everybody, we need to make a box so we can mail this picture out. Because we don't have a box that will fit. This box will fit, but it's way too big, so we need to cut it down. Kevin knows how to do it, but of course he's a gimp, so I have to do it. So I made you some marks at three inches. Right here? Yeah, and you want to take it from that line all the way down. I put it on a board so you don't worry about cutting the table. All the way down? Yes. <sighs> Hopefully it doesn't need to be straight. <laughs> Okay, so we're trying to create a crease right at the three inch line. We're making the box three inches tall. So we got this tool. It's not for doing this, but it seemed like an appropriate thing. It's, uh, it's for putting screen into a screen door. But we just need to create a crease in the cardboard. And then we should be able to bend it over. I'm going to have to cut the back. This should be our box. It's not perfect, but it'll do. 
it works, it'll ship, it'll get there in one piece. I'm happy with that. All right, let's pack it. tape so there that's how you make a custom-made box out of whatever you have you have to have two dimensions that are going to fit your item and you <coughs> cut it down to third dimension and it worked now we just got to address it and get it to the post office all right everybody I have to go to the post office now my backup light is still not working properly and I really can't try and troubleshoot it right now because there's just nothing I can I can do with my hands so I need to pick up some uh, chicken strips for Val something for her to, to nosh on because it gets tougher and tougher for me to cook stuff with my hands and she's not feeling well enough yet. So that's where I'm going. Hopefully this package isn't going to cost me too much to ship. Say good night. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you saw in our video today. If you did, please give us a favorite, a share, leave us a comment, and please subscribe. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Ta ta for now. Bye. <laughs> see? <laughs>